National video posted to YouTube, Scandies Rose survivor Dean Gribble Jr. describes the last minutes before the crab boat went down. Kara Seven's Rob Munoz shows us his harrowing account. Everybody was trying. Everybody's trying to get out. Everybody, everybody was doing everything they could. In his own words, Dean Gribble Jr. describes the last moments he had aboard the doomed fishing vessel, the Scandies Rose. The boat's last location was 170 miles off of Kodiak. Gribble Jr. says from the moment they knew there was trouble off the coast of Alaska to the moment they knew there was no return went by fast. On 31st, we just started listening really hard to the starboard side. Uh, from sleeping to swimming was about 10 minutes. Gribble Jr. is no stranger to the dangerous conditions. A veteran fisher, he also took part in the Discovery Channel show Deadliest Catch. Gribble Jr. confirmed reports from the Coast Guard that he and crew member John Lawler clung to a life raft for five hours before they were found. The Scanny's Rose was registered out of here in Seattle, and here at Fisherman's Terminal, a memorial is dedicated to those who have been lost at sea. That may include five more names, those crew members who have not been found. The Coast Guard said they had barely managed to locate the pair after spotting a faint light in zero visibility conditions through their night vision goggles. I mean, we're in 20 foot seas, it's blowing 40, icy conditions, worst possible conditions. I, I, I've fished for 20 years. I know you do not make it. Everybody die in those situations. His account also goes on to say that emergency equipment they had with them wasn't functioning properly. That includes a device called an EPIRP that should have pinpointed rescue crews to their exact coordinates. The Coast Guard says they stopped rescue efforts after a 20-hour search that spanned 1,400 square miles in those treacherous conditions. In Seattle, Ron Munoz, Cairo 7 News.